As the monsoon season takes across India, electric car owners may find themselves spending a lot of time worrying about the safety and well-being of their vehicle. In this video, we will share some tips to help you avoid any damage to your EV and we'll share ways in which you can avoid these problems so that your EV can drive through the monsoon season effortlessly without any dangerous incidents or a trip to a service center for repair. Short circuits. Today, most EVs and their chargers are designed to offer maximum protection against short circuits. But during rains, water in the electric socket can cause a short circuit in the charger and impact the internal circuits of the EV if it is plugged in. Make sure your EV's charger is installed in a dry place where the electric switch and charging pins can remain free from moisture. Corrosion When water comes in contact with metal it causes rust and corrosion. During monsoon season, the underside of your EV can get affected by it the most due to splashes of water from rainwater puddles that are very common on the road. To prevent your EV from corrosion, you can use an anti-rust solution like WD-40. Spray it on areas that are most prone to rusting. Also, park your EVs in dry sheds and covered parking to safeguard them from water. If you can't, use a high-quality water-resistant cover so that corrosion can be avoided and your EV can remain strong and shiny for years. Battery Health the cells in an EV battery are made of lithium-ion which is temperature sensitive. During monsoons, the temperature can drop after a whole day of rain or rise after a whole day of sunshine. This change in temperature can affect your EV's battery performance. But don't worry, here are a few things you can do to maintain your EV's battery health. Avoid charging within an hour of use. Don't overcharge. Don't charge with an incompatible charger. Always charge in a dry area. Water seepage. In some places, roads can get so flooded that water can easily seep inside your EV if you try to cross it. This is scary because in most EVs, the most important component, the battery, is fitted on the floor. While most EV batteries come with water-resistant packing, even if a little bit of water seeps into them, it could cause a lot of damage to the battery. So, if you can avoid crossing a waterlogged road, you should. But if you have to cross it, it will be better to take your EV to the service center once after you have crossed the flooded road and get your battery checked for any seepage as soon as possible.